Hello everyone, KJ4YZI Ham Radio Concepts. Just want to give you an update because in a couple days you're going to see this video, but check it out. Uh, I want to thank all my patrons who support me. Uh, you know, I don't say it much, I probably should, but you know, the patrons, they, they, they help this become more fun instead of another job. You know what I mean? Because then I can buy things like this and uh, continue on with videos. So what I have here, and I haven't set it up yet, I just opened it up, I checked a couple things out. I'm gonna show you what's coming in the future videos. This is the Little Tar Heel, okay? The Little Tar Heel is a motorized screwdriver type antenna by Tar Heel, made in the USA. Actually, I got this Tar Heel, the little one, uh, from MFJ because I, I buy a lot of stuff from them and they're an actual uh, a dealer and they have a screwdriver controller I'm going to show you. So I bought everything at MFJ and thanks to my Patreon uh, patrons for, you know, I take a little bit of cash, save it and, uh, you know, do whatever else with the other stuff. And then I can buy stuff like this and show you other videos and give you ideas and, and interest you in the hobby, right? So I figured because I, I drive a lot, I can make more videos on, uh, on the road, not driving, but I mean, you know, in different areas being HF mobile. Now you, you might be wondering, what am I going to use? And let me show you something here. You might have said, Eric, what happened to that 7100? Yeah, it's right here. It's brand new back in the box. I, I kind of made the videos on it. Then when I got the 9700 ICOM and I had the 7300, I kind of put this back in the box. And I'm a nut like that. I like to have stuff back in the box new so that when I take it out back out of the box and repurpose it, it's like a brand new toy again. I don't just throw it in the closet. So the 7100 is now going in my vehicle. The only sad part about that is I have a 5100 in the vehicle now and I love it so much, even though the 7100 will do D-Star and VHF and UHF and all that and more. I just feel bad because that 5100 is just such a bulletproof radio. I love it. So I'm gonna actually put the 5100 back in my closet and figure out one day when I wanna do something with that. In the meantime, this is the Little Tar Heel HP, six through 40 meters and they're up to 500 watts PEP. The reason I got this one was because I didn't want the Gigantor Tar Heel. Uh, I gotta mount this on my work vehicle and make it look you know, like an antenna. It doesn't matter what it looks like, but I don't want a Gigantor thing on there. 6 through 40 is what I really want. I want 10, I want 6, 10, 12, 15, 17, and 20 primarily. So this is going to be mounted soon. I'm going to show you a video all about this. And it comes with the whip, and there's several other options of whips you can use, but this one comes with it. And this is motorized. So it, you go basically, you know, from 10 meters to 20 meters, the antenna moves. There's a motor in here, and it makes it resonant on 20. No tuner, just a resonant antenna for the mobile. So we'll get into that, but I also want to show you a couple things that I did pick up in the process with this. Now, uh, I threw it all in this box. This is not how the Tar Heel comes. I already unpacked it, but I got the manual. I'm going to go through that in a video soon. And it also comes with stuff, um, the, the wire for the Tar Heel and the ferret and a, an actual manual controller to run that thing up and down to tune it. And I'll show you all that in a future video. But what I got was I bought the MFJ 1924. This is MFJ's version of a programmable screwdriver antenna controller. And I'll show you that in a whole separate video, how you can quickly go from 10 to 20 meters or 20 to 40 meters, push a button and the thing runs up and down and goes where it needs to be. And you don't have to worry about where the tuning is, you program it, you know? So that's what I'm gonna show you. And that's one reason that I also bought this from MFJ was because they are a dealer of Tar Heel, but I did get the MFJ I guess you'd call this like a trunk lip or a roof or a uh, luggage rack mount, trunk lip mount. I got this because I didn't want to drill another hole in my vehicle. Now this is the uh, which MFJ 345T and this is going to be pretty much like my diamond that's holding my dual band antenna on the truck now, which is going to stay there because I'm going to leave the dual band Comet there. Comet, right. No, is it, it is a diamond? I can't remember what's on there. Diamond mount with a common antenna, I think. But this is going to hold my Tar Heel, and that way I don't have to cut a hole again because I already have a commercial business band um, mounted on the side of my vehicle, and I don't want to cut another hole, so I'm going to use this. So in the process of this, uh, I'll show you how this stuff works, how it mounts up, and maybe make a day. I'll go down on a weekend to sit on the river or something or even in my driveway and make contacts on um, HF and the mobile and give you some tips about hooking it up because I did read a couple things online that people may have had issues with these. Let me tell you this, I'm gonna guarantee you this, the issue is never with this antenna. I don't know the people at Tar Heel and they probably don't know me, 
but I can tell you they've been around a long time. Made in the USA, this is a American company um, that makes these for many years, and this is a solid, proven antenna. And in the comments, please leave me a video, or a comment in the video, about your experience with a Tar Heel or someone you know. Tell me how you like this thing or what you've done with it. But this is, it's normally a grounding issue, uh, maybe a tuning issue. They don't understand that the antenna goes up and down and you could tune it for different frequencies. So that's gonna be in a video too. So just a highlight here because that way you, you know what to look forward to. The Tar Heel antenna, or this is actually the little Tar Heel HP. Uh, the manual screwdriver uh, controller, uh, programmable screwdriver controller from MFJ, the mount and stuff like that. So 7.3, look forward to those videos. I got more on the way. I'm trying to bust out all this stuff on my desk, all the stuff in the back room, all the stuff that I forgot about. And yes, the satellite tracker is in the works. An elk antenna is coming. I decided to go elk uh, for the antenna. So those are coming. I did not forget about the satellite tracker. It's actually holding this thing right behind me. It's now a uh, tray here behind me to hold the little battery for my microphone. <laughs> 7.3 guys, KJ4YZI. Hope to work on HF Mobile soon.